207 Ks, first climb, 34 Ks at five and a half percent. It starts at like 550 meters, goes to 2,470. That's ridiculous. Now, it then has a descent straight into the Kruttaker, Jesus. 15 and a half Ks, 8.5. 0.6% to 2,170 meters after a 34k climb at 5.5%, the last 10ks of which are at 7% to 2,470 meters. This is already an extremely hard stage. This is already one of the hardest stages we've seen in the Grand Tour for a long time, but it's not finished yet. Descent then after that, Pancake flat for 25 is a decent amount. And then they do Crans Montagna, 13K, 7.5%. This is the hardest stage parkour I can remember on paper for a long time. Given that I'm 12 years old, that's not a long period of time, but <laughs> it is, this is ridiculously hard. 5,200 meters climbing, altitude. This could be a cracker. This video is brought to you by Zwift. Whether you're just starting out on your cycling journey or are looking for those final tune-ups ahead of a big event or race, Zwift is the online cycling platform that makes things fun. There are nine different worlds, thousands of kilometers of virtual road, including replicas of real-world climbs like Alp du Zwift. There's workouts, training plans, events, and even races for every level of rider. Zwift's massive community means you're never alone on the road. So if you want to know more about Zwift or want to start your seven-day trial for free, head to Zwift.com below. First climb being the Chima copy of this race, the highest point of the Giro 2023 that Grand Saint Bernard climbs. So many kilometers. I think that first climb, the Grand Saint Bernard, is more the attrition climb at the start of the race, like getting those kilometers in, those altitude kilometers in that make every rider a tiny bit weaker before that they hit that quad occur, which is, in my opinion, the most difficult climb in this Giro, perhaps? I don't know. It might be. I haven't decided yet. You can kill a man on that climb. Yeah, I fear so as well. And Crans Montana, like you mentioned, after that 24-kilometer flat valley, I will say when it comes to tactics, if I look at this parkour, there are options here. Now, for a move early on in the stage to occur, I do believe that you need satellite riders of the road. But it's, it's kind of difficult to see how easy it is for a satellite rider to get in the breakaway on a parkour like this. Because I'd say... If you want to attack early on this race, it's not on the San Bernard, it's at the top of the Quad because that's the steepest spot of that Quad after a really hard climb. But if you do that, you're going to be left with the best riders in GC because this is a very difficult climb. But if you attack there, what are you going to do? Base the entire valley of 24 kilometers with a group of people? So you need a rider in the breakaway to be able to have an engine on the flat afterwards. Now, there's so much climbing that could the break already be caught at this point? Or do you think that yeah. they will have a significant gap on the San Bernard already? Well, yeah, the problem is the flat at the start, 60 Ks before the first climb starts. The break's got to go in the first 15 Ks virtually uncontested, I think, to then be allowed to build up a huge advantage. Uh, teams who have you, – you need a rider of serious quality. You can't – you can't just be like, oh, let's get our, you know, standard entry domestique and he can pull the flat after the heart hill. Like Mark Soler can do this. Yeah. Soler, despite like being hit with a inv cloak of invisibility when Roglic attacked on Telegraph, when he was in the group <laughs> before Galibia, he was strong physically. On Galibia, I think, or out to high altitude, steady climbs, he's been good in the past. He's the sort of guy you need. UAE can go crazy on this stage. Like, if they have Vine as rumored, Almeida, Ayuso, Formolo, Soler, they can do some crazy things on this stage. You need a rider to pull. Because if you drop a guy on that climb, put a minute into him on Kratikur, descend, you're not caught on the descent, and then you have a domestique, who pulls you out another minute while, or another 30 seconds or even holds it stable whilst that guy you've dropped is pulling in the wind himself before Crans Montagna, you will take so much time on Crans Montagna. So I think satellite riders are key. Who, which teams have the quality? Bora Hansgrower have the quality in a Leonard Kamner is good enough to make it. Um, but I think this should be a really interesting stage. Do you worry, Benji, that... 
it's too hard and they'll just wait for Crans Montagna? I don't think so. I think Quadacur is hard enough that it's going to automatically make gaps if any team takes it up on that climb, which they should, because there's real opportunity there. If I look at this parkour, this is the 2022 Tour de France Alpe d'Huez stage, but on steroids, because the Quad de Cour adds so much more than the Quad de did, for example, in that Tour de France stage. So I think this is really a, one of the two queen stages I see in the parkour of this Giro d'Italia, if not the queen stage of this Giro d'Italia, because differences are going to be made here, but hopefully the Giro is not decided after this, this stage. Uh, do we see it? What? The stage? It's, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Don't, don't give those ideas in my head, my friend. There might be snow, but come on. Give the thing us the is, footage. that's the thing, right? You want sort of cold, wet weather because the gaps and the carnage and the hist- history and, you know, the strongest survive, etc. But then it means you don't see the stage. So <laughs> um, I'm kind of not hoping for that. And I think we'll should be decent gaps here. Uh, I think even a poll... We've not seen him on a stage like this perform yet. That doesn't mean he won't, but the Vuelta had nothing like this, yeah. nothing close. And so this is a big test if he does the Giro. How does he perform on a stage like this? Um, but, yeah, I can't wait to see it. Um, hopefully it's not like the Fadaya stage. I think it won't be because, as Benji said, the hardest climb is the second last one, not the last 5Ks like in that Fadaya stage 20. But, yeah, that's all i got to say on this stage. Can't wait to see it.